Relationships are the roots of positive childhood development and we consistently see that strong relationships build strong children and youth. And we know that relationships are associated with a whole host of positive well-being indicators um, including uh, learning engagement, learning, um, reduced risk behaviors, uh, thriving, and so our results show the same effects. So for example, 88% of the young people in our survey um, reported at least one strong positive relationship with either parents, uh, sorry, family, um, teachers, or friends. And of those who did report at least one strong positive relationship, um, we saw that they were more likely to have um, higher self-reported physical health, higher self-reported mental health, higher life satisfaction, higher self-esteem, and lower isolation and lower loneliness. So we really know that those relationships are critical to uh, child and youth well-being. And it's not just the peer relationships that are important, but it's also those youth to adult relationships. So just having one caring um, adult in a child's life can make a huge, huge difference. So, you know, teachers, mentors, coaches, family members, any community member can be that person that makes a huge difference in the well-being and positive outcomes for a child. And youth themselves in the survey told us that the community can make a huge difference uh, for them in their well-being, especially um, coming out of the, the pandemic and recovering from COVID. Um, we know that um, they were hugely impacted in terms of their mental health, but also in those connections that they had and that sense of community belonging. Youth who reported higher levels of social media use were more likely to report um, positive relationships with their friends. However, what was really interesting about the findings is it didn't apply to those other relationships like those youth adult relationships or those teacher relationships and it did not um, increase their sense of belonging or reduce their sense of isolation or loneliness. But youth told us that they really were missing those in-person connections, all of those important milestones that they would typically experience throughout the school year. All of that was taken away during the pandemic, and they were feeling, you know, that loss of connection. And I think the social media was an important way of helping them facilitate that, but it doesn't replace that in-person interaction that's so vital to their development. Uh, to make a difference for youth coming out of the pandemic would really be to focus on intentionally creating meaningful, um, authentic uh, engagement and relationships with them. I think that's what they really told us they wanted and we can see from the literature and from our survey results how critically important relationships are for child and youth well-being. The second thing that I would say um, would be really critical for us to focus on is, is community belonging and creating spaces that are inclusive for all youth. Um, and when we had a data party um, to share some of the results with them, that is some of the feedback that they gave us, you know, give us opportunities to connect in the community and to, to be ourselves and to foster belonging and to be inclusive where everyone, everybody feels welcome.